Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. What next for X Excellency Raila Molo Dinga and Deputy President Dr. William Ruto? What should they do next to make sure that they clean the topmost seat? General election is just seven months ahead of us and this might be the year that we might see a most heated campaign and most expensive one and it's only strategy that is going to pull somebody out from this man so what next should these gentlemen the two gentlemen engage in to make sure that they secure the topmost seat in this country So before we proceed with our punchline, if this is the first time you are bumping onto this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider your few seconds and subscribe into this channel. Or if you've been watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please my humble request is help me build this channel by subscribing into this channel. Take your few seconds and consider subscribing into this channel. I'll give you that few seconds. Okay, thank you. So what next for Raila Molodinga and Dr. William Samoy Ruto? We'll start with Raila. I have, I have four points that Raila should consider if he wants to win this election this year. And the first point is Right now, we know the political amendment bill is still in the parliament. This was a bill sponsored by uh, the majority leader, that is Amos Kimunya. And so it's a bill that is well known to Raila and uh, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta. For Raila to win presidency this year, he has to make sure this bill is passed. This bill is going to make him very easy to sell more so in Mount Kenya as compared to previous seasons. Because with this bill, Raila is going to be able to sell himself as the Azimio candidate rather than an ODM candidate. Electing an ODM candidate in Central is much harder compared to electing an Azimio La Umoja candidate uh, in Central. Our politics is local and uh, is based on regions and we can't deny that fact. Selling ODM in Central is going to be much harder. That's why Raila must make sure that this bill is passed in Parliament so that other, these, these, these other small parties can easily support him under the Azimio La Umoja umbrella. Apart from this bill making sure that Raila is easy to sell, this bill is going to help uh, Raila gather more, 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 more votes under different uh, uh, parties, that is more small parties. Because uh, we know Raila committed a blunder in the last, I mean, the, the last coalition that he made. That was NASA. And the blunder that he committed was, uh, was on political funds. Initially, the political funds had to be given to the bigger party that is in the coalition so that uh, this party reimburse it to the smaller party within that coalition. And right now, each and every small party wants its, uh, its, its funds that are their sure role. And with the, with the current constitution, the political, the political party constitution, this one we cannot attain. So this new bill in parliament is going to make sure that these political parties' funds is reimbursed direct to these small parties through the political registrar. So Raila has to make sure that this bill is passed so that these small political parties can trust him and make sure that they support him under a Zimiola Umoja umbrella. Two, Raila 
is subjected to voters apathy in 2022 unless it rejuvenate its his strong bases and to do this Raila has to come with a different strategy that is he has to come up with some with, with something that is promising that is this time round is going to click this seat and the only thing that is promising that can make can make him to that level is only if he's publicly endorsed by, by His Excellency uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Without a public endorsement by uh, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, Raila is subjected to voters' apathy. We know Raila has been losing election. He lost election in 2007. Uh, in 2007, uh, in 1997, he lost election. That was a uh, very, that, that was clear and uh, appropriate. Then in 2007, in this election, though, uh, it is believed that he won the election but never declared the president. Then in 2013, there were some issues, but still, uh, it is believed that uh, he won it. Then in 2017, he boycotted it. That is the second round after Supreme Court uh, uh, nullification. These voters that have been voting for Raila are a little bit tired and fatigued. And being this is the fifth time he's going for the shot, how sure are they that this time round Raila is going to clinch it? For these voters to come out in large numbers with with the, with the, with the, with with, with the, a lot of energy, Raila has to has to make sure that uh, he's promising that he's going to clinch this seat. And the only way to, to do that is to be seen. With his excellency Uru Miguel Kenyatta by his side, publicly campaigning for him. The third point that I should consider is the choice of the deputy president. Mount Kenya are not going to produce the next president, maybe for the next two terms, but they can produce a very suitable deputy president. So what is going to help Raila this time around in this presidency? Maybe for the first time, he should choose a deputy president from Mount Kenya. That is going to, give, to add him the Mount Kenya votes in this coming election. The fourth point is uh, the IBC. Is Raila sure with Chebukati? Are they controlling the uh, the IBC? How sure is he with the deep state? This is really this is really going to help him in this coming election. Let's move to our second punchline of today. What should what what should uh, Ex Excellency? Deputy President Dr. William Ruto do to make sure that he clears uh, the presidential seat coming this uh, general election. Ruto has enjoyed a lot of support in 2021. And by the end of this year, uh, we are not surprised that Ruto was still leading in presidential polls. And this might change if he doesn't consider these ones. One, one thing that is a uh, political blunder that Ruto done, has, done, has already done that I should consider redoing it. I mean, uh, uh, doing away with it is uh, not accepting coalition with this small party. This is going to cost Ruto dearly. He should swallow his pride and consider forming coalitions with this small party. Or else, Raila is going to capitalize on uh, on that mistake. It is going to cost him so dearly. Number two, brutal dependency too much in Mount Kenya. What if Mount Kenya, uh, in the long run, betrays him? Because Mount Kenya is known to ballot all their all, all their all their votes in one box. 
What if Mount Kenya betrays him? What if Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta start campaigning and Mount Kenya, uh, Mount Kenya people decide to shift their, their thinking and uh, end up supporting Raila Monodinga? He will only be left with Rift Valley, which is very bad. With, if, with only Rift Valley and smaller, smaller parts of Western and the coast can't win him an election. So he should consider subjecting his, uh, I mean, uh, his, uh, his uh, power to these other region, regions. Let him consider even coast or western. Those are the promising regions that uh, can give him a lot of votes if uh, he subjects uh, his energy into those places. But dependency, too much dependency on central, uh, on central Kenya is going to cost him. He might end up a lone person with only Rift Valley that is not going to win him the presidency. Number three, Ruto should consider looking for people that can, can campaign for him in his absence. Right now, Ruto doesn't have anybody that can, can, can campaign for him in his absence. If Ruto leaves the politics stage right now, let me say he takes a rest for even two weeks. The wave of Deputy President William Ruto will automatically go down. And this is the challenge that Ruto is facing. Apart from the Deputy President, pre president choice, uh, Ruto should look for somebody that can campaign for him and make inroads in different places in his absence. Or else, if he remains at the only solo man that can do this thing, the all of this campaign thing, then this one is going to cost him. What if something something happens to him? Who will step in his shoe? The likes of Kinande Nyoro, Kimani Chungwa, can they campaign for him in his absence? When you go to West Ham, Akina, Akina Ishiali, can they do that? And they really campaign for deputy president in his absence and they make inroads and make and bring in votes. So he should consider having somebody that can step into his shoes in his absence. Or else his face is going to face a disaster up on belly. I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for your time and I really appreciate it. And uh, I want to wish uh, Charles Njonjo uh, fared well. I know he's already cremated, but uh, let his soul rest in peace. Last reminder is that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing so that you can help me build this channel. Otherwise, have a good day and bye-bye.